Hello, my people. This is really sad. Like, I don't even know where to start from, okay? Because this is not a good news at all. The information reaching us now is that you, Edoche, and our lovely Queen Mel Edoche loses their first son. Ah, oh my goodness. They loses their first son, Kambili Chuku. Edoche. Guys, at this point, I don't even know who to blame. I'm not here to point fingers. I don't know if we're to blame the polygamy thing or we're to blame the stress that the children are going through. Maybe this child is already undergoing some kind of depression and the parents didn't pay attention to that like i really don't know what to blame or are we to blame the side chick juju juju judy austin that entered into this family and started the mago mago in the home so who are we to blame at this point eh ah poor queen may she has gone through a lot emotional stress a lot of problems from her husband these are problems that her husband brought into their matrimonial home by not keeping his third leg in tat this woman is still dealing with that and on top of it now he, she loses her son what kind of problem is this how is this woman going to be able to handle this what kind of heartbreak is this Oh my goodness. So guys, according to news online, it was said here, and this is from Just Lover, that Emerging the report indicates that Nollywood actor Yu Edoche has lost his first son, Kambili Chuku Edoche. It was gathered that Yu's first son was rushed to the hospital after falling unconscious. A source who spoke to Vanguard on condition of anonymity revealed that you has confirmed Kambili Chuku's death as the time this report was fired. Oh my God. That means the father has finally confirmed that the son is deceit. Oh God. This is so heartbreaking. I just don't know what to say. Like my whole head is like blowing up being a parent. Hmm. Ah, it was said here that May's sister, who was at the scene, said the boy read throughout the night, preparing for his exams today. After his exam in school, he joined his mates to play football, and that's when he developed a seizure and was rushed to mother and child hospital. All efforts by the doctor to resuscitate him proved abortive. Ah, you guys know that you and Dochi also celebrated their sons, the first son and the second child's uh, birthday when he turned 15 years, right? And of course, they showered him with a lot of blessings, a lot of prayers. Ah, God, from the parents. So let's see here. You said here on, on his son's birthday, he said, My first son just turned 15. Happy birthday to you, Kambi Leo, you Edoche. Many more great years I wish you with load of accomplishment and greatness. May God be with you always. Daddy loves you. His father wrote on Instagram. So guys, uh, <coughs> like I said, we really don't know who to blame here. If we are to blame polygamy or we are to blame uh, uh, Juju Juju, Judy Austin, who came into this home to cause katakata in the marriage because she wanted to be a second wife by Omis. So we don't know who to blame at this point. Then also, we don't know if we're to blame this on stress because we do understand that this boy read throughout the night, right? So if he reads throughout the night, there is always every probability that he's probably going to be tired. And at this point, what he needed after his exam was to go sit down, relax, eat, and rest, and not go play football, right? So this is another power looking at. So I don't know if this is also as a result of some kind of a stress-induced seizure that occurred to the boy, which resulted to him, to him being the seat okay so we do know that sometimes that stress releases certain chemicals in our body that can end up affecting how the brain works so we don't know if that was why he ended up with seizure but then in the other way we all know that polygamy is not a good thing there's always spiritual battles left and right guys so 